Welcome, welcome to Shadow Me Tarot. This is Capricorn's fortune cookie reading for January 16th to the 23rd, or this is good for 30 days after um, you have found this. <laughs> so after January 16th to the 23rd, if you found this and you're listening to it, then this message is for you. Okay, so first off we're doing for the fortune cookie spread, we're going to look at dreams, breaking point when that cookie breaks, and what's inside the goals. Um, thank you, beautiful spirit, for all of your guidance, love, and light. Uh, can you tell me when our beautiful Capricorn, uh, what our beautiful Capricorn is dreaming about? All right, so what are the Capricorn dreams for the fortune cookie spread here? What are Capricorn dreams. All right. Major life change is kind of happening right now. Okay. Ooh. Whoa. Okay. And then what about the goals? When we open up that cookie, we crack that cookie. Wow, a lot of them. Holy moly. Um, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Spirit wants you to know all of that front here. So we've got major life change. Time is right for major life changes as a new lifestyle or location brings great joy and trouble-free existence. So that feels like where you're kind of at right now, or that's what you're thinking about, this new major life change that's coming into the present. Um, and then uh, the breaking point is your health. You're doing this because you need to. Um, you need a change. <laughs> Right, you want this. You want this new lifestyle, this um, this new location, this trouble-free existence for your health, for your sanity. Um, so health. This is an excellent time to start an exercise program or diet. Many new friendships are on the horizon. Reinvent yourself. A transformation is taking place. Enjoy a new lease of life. Um, so. Um, taking care of yourself um, and getting involved um, in communities where people take care of themselves invariably is going to change who you are as a person. And as a result, your outcome is sunshine, love, and reflection. So the sun is shining um, or the goal, you know, when you crack open, you know, um, taking care of yourself, reinventing yourself, being your true, true self, like who, who you're born to be, um, sunshine. The sun is shining on you, career, business, growth, fabulous communication and relationships. Love is in the air, a great time for commitment and taking relationships to the next level. And then uh, reflection, friendships in your life may come to an end. Others could blossom and become stronger. Um, so with this love next to this reflection, I feel like there's somebody in your life who might be... Um, there might be a little bit of a spark. Um, there might be a spark. Um, so it feels like that might be coming into play as well. So beautiful spirit. Okay, well, <laughs> the wheel of fortune and the reserve and the reverse is kind of coming out for for Capricorn here, um, in the for the dreams position. So what's kind of influencing the breaking point? The breaking point. Okay, and then um, what is influencing the goals? What is influencing the goals? Influencing the goals for Capricorn. All right. And what is influencing? Wow, that was big. <laughs> Okay. I'm supposed to get a new section of the deck here. Um, what is it? The breaking point. Thank you. Breaking points and the goals. What's influencing these goals? Okay. Oh, Teal Swan, I love you, but this deck. I need it. I need it. It's so big. It is so big. Okay. So for our major life change, what goes up must come down. Um, I almost feel like you're losing weight. Um, that is your major life change. So if you've struggled with your weight at all, um, 
if you struggled with food at all, um, up or down, I feel like um, food is the major life change, right? Um, a new lifestyle. Um, so food is the influence um, to partake in, eat and drink and enjoy nutritious substances that maintain life and growth, nourishment, refreshment, and sustenance potentially to value the experience of cooking, baking, or trying new foods. And I feel like you've been thinking about, oh gosh, I need to, I need to take better care of myself. I need to eat better, right? Um, and maybe, maybe things when things are down, you kind of turn to food as um, a comfort. Or turn away from food as a comfort, right? Make yourself too busy to, to have food or, you know, go to food for comfort. I go to food for comfort. That's me. I am not Capricorn, though. Um, so, Capricorn, um, I feel like um, you are dreaming of a new way of looking at food. And the major life change that you have is, um, um, I don't know, you're just in a low right now and you're eating too much food. <laughs> That's what I feel like right now. Um so I don't even think that the life change is eating too much food. I think at this point it's just eating the wrong foods. Um, and I think that part of that major life change is just changing um, not how much you eat, but what you're eating. Um, so because coming in, like what's going to crack the nut is is this health and reinventing yourself. Um, so excellent time to start an exercise program. Um, we also have you coming into your sexy self. Like you are transitioning and going, oh my God, I am such a sexy person. Um Oh, you are nurturing yourself. So you have this surprise. This There's a surprise kind of coming, um, right? And um, so the overall kind of influences for this is going to be integrity, resourcefulness, and entertainment, right? Um, so I almost feel like you're going to turn this into a game, this new health regime that you do, how you're reinventing yourself, the new community that you're part of. You turn into this sexy beast and you are so surprised by it. But you have integrity. Um, so you'll feel whole, undivided, unimpaired, and consistent with a strong and principled core. Um, so you really come into your own and really know who you are. Um, so you're going to live in alignment with your own personal truth and sense of righteousness. Um, you are resourceful. Um, you're able to find uh, things or solutions for yourself and overcoming any possible problems that might arise to have the ability to think creatively on, on the spot to overcome problems or to make do with what is available to create a solution, to be self-assured, imaginative, persistent, proactive, see and make use of opportunities and any and all resources available to you. So I really feel like um, when you enter into this community and you start to see um, who you are, I feel like you're going to recognize how much magic you are too. Um, you're really going to see um, uh, I just I just feel like um, nothing is going to be in your way. You know, when you love yourself, nothing really is in your way. And I feel like, um, okay, so here it says maybe you're going into the entertainment industry. You know, maybe maybe that's what it is. Maybe you're part of the in entertainment industry and reinventing yourself and bossing up and being your sexy self and redefining your core values to be the sexy, amazing person that you are. And um, being resource full and creative in, um, overcoming any, um, negative thoughts that you might have, um, ch you know, changing the way you think, um, being resourceful in, in, um, uh, overcoming that as a, as a problem. Um, um, so it just feels like you're very self-assured. Um, you're going to be persistent. You're proactive. Um, and more and more opportunities. I just feel like it's going to get better and better for you. Um, so, so definitely if you've been thinking about doing something with your health, um, do it, do it this week because it, within a week or two in the next 30 days, it's going to have an impact on who you are as a person, how you feel about yourself, how the world perceives you and what opportunities are coming towards you. So if you've been looking to change your lifestyle or your health goals or any of those things, or you're getting involved in a team or sport or anything like that, um, go after it. If that's what you've been thinking about, then go after it. Um, and maybe it's even uh, in regards to like food. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Over here, we're like at food. So maybe it is in regards to, to food. You know, maybe it's not just exercise and health. Perhaps it's um, a cooking class. Do you know what I mean? Um, 
uh, food can be sexy too. <laughs> um, and you can be resourceful because like, you know, you need that salt and you need that sweet and you need that um, nice balance in any kind of food that you make. And it might be fun for you to do it. So um, really kind of take a look at how you can reinvent yourself, um, take care of yourself, improve your health, um, and recognize yourself as the sexy person you are. And I think it will surprise you. <laughs> Um, and how um, whole you are, how um, talented you are, and um, resourceful, and you can, um, you're going to do it. Like, I just feel like you're going to do it, and you're going to have a good time doing it. All right, and so then the outcome of all this, um, the sun is shining on you, your career, your business, growth, fabulous communication, and relationships. Love is on its way it's in the air it's a great time for commitment and taking relationships to the next level and then for reflection you know um making sure that the people in your life are in alignment with the same um life that you are creating for yourself here um so what is the influence on this new beginning look at that you have a whole new beginning um your, I feel like your life is just beginning. Holy smokes. And then we have bravery. You are brave. You are courageous in character and behavior, having the strength to show, uh, the strength to face and confront danger, fear, or difficulty when it's important to do so, especially in the name of something greater. And you are that something greater. Um, you are brave enough to be your best self is what I'm seeing here. And then significance to perceive yourself and to be perceived by others as being great or worthy of value, attention, and importance. And you're going to realize that just by um, changing this part of your lifestyle, whatever it is, um, you know what it is. You absolutely know what it is, but it has to do with your health. It has to do with reinventing yourself. And it's been something you've been thinking about for some time. Um, I almost got, I even got like a, a premonition of, uh, 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 um, um, shoot, like a transgender thing. Uh, what do they call that? It starts with a T too. A uh, transition. Um, I almost am feeling a uh, transition to, um, boss up, be you. You are brave. You are significant. You have a voice. And this is a new, beautiful journey. And look at how it improves your self-esteem and your energy and your lust for life. Oh, I'm so happy for you, Capricorn. I think this is going to be an amazing week for you. Amazing month for you. Um, okay, we're doing the self-love one. <laughs> uh, let's do uh, crazy love notes for our Capricorn. Um, beautiful spirit, what love notes do you have for our Capricorn? What love notes do you have for our Capricorn? Ooh. Be a natural beauty. And it says, your entire body is precious, so choose personal care products that reflect your consciousness and commitment to self-love. Say no to toxins and yes to the healthiest ingredients possible. You deserve to look and feel great, and you are worth the effort. Be a natural beauty. Unplug. Recharge your soul batteries by unplugging from the digital world. Connect with yourself by disconnecting from distractions such as other people's to-do lists. Take a stroll. The best way to generate fresh and innovative ideas is to balance the virtual and natural world. The birds in the trees have just as much to teach you as the internet. And the last one. That you, oh, there's two more. There's one hidden back here. Okay. You are awesome. Um... And this says, your greatest relationship is the one you have with yourself. Build it, strengthen it, praise yourself, share what makes you proud. Your beaming delight with, will help others. Shift from glass, half empty thinking to heck, I'm pretty awesome too. Um, and absolutely, absolutely, you are awesome. You are enough just as you are. And anything, anything in your brain or anyone um, who says that you aren't, um, anybody who says that you aren't doesn't belong in your life, but anybody, um, but if you are saying that you're not awesome, um, have control of those thoughts. Um, know that those thoughts are lies. Um, spirit loves you. God loves you. Higher power loves you. Um, whatever it is you believe in does not judge you, does not should you, does not could you, doesn't think that you should be more than what you are. Um, you are perfect and right where you are supposed to be and spirit loves you. So anytime you are telling yourself something different, that is your humanity. 
And that is not the most intelligent part of your being. Your spiritual side is the most intelligent part of your being. So just know that anything you tell yourself that is negative, that is a lie and you can question it. Um, but you are bossing up, you know, um, you, you know, um, that when you make this change, um, you are just gonna, you are going to, um, I really just see you being awesome. And here it says you offer your love. So I think as you reinvent yourself, as you, um, take care of yourself and improve, um, your overall health and well being, and just caring about yourself, um, you're filling up your cup to offer love to someone else. Um, I think that's a very pretty card. <laughs> with a little rooster there with the cow and then somebody putting out their, their hand of love, right? So, um, is there someone in your life who could benefit from loving kindness? The gesture doesn't have to be big. Send an email, pick up the phone, pop by for a visit, or order a bouquet of posies. Let this person know that you're thinking of him or her. When we offer our love generously, that caring energy comes back to us tenfold while also lifting us up in the process. Reach out and offer your love today. All right beautiful Capricorn. I hope that resonated for you. If you, if it did, please like, subscribe, comment, share. Um, and, um, thank you so much for watching. Have a beautiful, blessed week. Um, and I look forward to seeing you again. <laughs> Take care.